What is going on guys? Welcome to your 18th C++ tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to talk to you guys about a while loop and if you're saying alright Bucky take a step back I don't even know what a loop is and now you're trying to talk to me about a special kind of loop alright let me step back a loop is basically in computer programming if you want to take a certain bit of code and run it over and over and over again you can go ahead and you can just type it on like a hundred different lines and it will keep running or you can throw it in something called a loop and what a loop does it says alright write this code only one time and I'm gonna run it as many times as you want me to so for example instead of say we wanted to print hello on the screen a hundred times instead of writing see out hello on a hundred different lines we can only write it on one line and loop it a hundred times so it's a much easier way to make pieces of code run multiple times so let me show you guys an example and by the way now I can talk to you guys about a while loop there are many different types of loops a while loop is pretty much the most basic type of loop in my opinion it's the easiest so that's why I'm showing this to you guys first so let's go ahead and I'll show you guys an example go ahead and make a variable called bacon and set it equal to zero the syntax for a while loop is this we're gonna say while and then in the parentheses right after it we're gonna give it a test just like the if statement we're gonna test if bacon is less than or equal to five go ahead and run this bit of code over and over again so let's go ahead and just run c out um, bacon is and then it will say the value of bacon and then end line so now if you were to go ahead and run this you would say alright run it bacon is zero, bacon is zero, bacon is zero, and you can see that it keeps printing it out over and over. By now it probably printed it out like 20,000 times. So you're saying, alright, that's kind of useful I guess, but wouldn't it be more useful if this loop would end? For example, if we only wanted to run it 20 times, how would we go about doing that? Well, sometimes people do want loops that never end, but typically they don't. Typically you want to only have this code run like five times or ten times or fifteen times so how do we control exactly how many times it runs well in order to do that we usually add a line of code like this again what this test is going to do is test is bacon less than or equal to five and since the value is zero right now this test is always going to be true so in order to make this test false in this loop to stop running we need to change the value of bacon at some point so it is equal to five or greater than five and in order to do that go ahead and make bacon equals bacon plus one now each time we run the loop is going to go ahead and do its thing right here and then when it's done it's going to add one to the value of bacon so the first time it runs it's going to be zero and then it's going to add one to it so then it's going to be one then it's going to be two three four five and by the time it gets to five it's going to change it to six and not run so let me go ahead and show you guys bacon is zero one two three four five so we already know why bacon ran in this case when bacon was equal to zero it was less than or equal to five one yup two yup three four five is five less than or equal to five yup so it printed that out but then whenever it said alright the value of bacon is five so I'm gonna print out bacon is five and then I'm gonna add one to bacon so now bacon equals six alright let's try this loop again is six less than or equal to five no finally the test is false so I can quit running my dumb loop so that is how you add um again like I said when I, okay take a take a breath Bucky you're jumping too fast sometimes people want loops to run forever and when they do you would do something like the first example I told you but typically and I want to say like 95 percent of the time people build loops that they only want to run a certain amount of times for example five times if you only wanted to run it five times or actually it was six in this case you would add something called this line right here and this pretty much just changes the value of bacon so at some point that test has to be false if you wanted to run it twenty times you'd go ahead and just change that to twenty and check it out bacon is one two three four five all the way to twenty pretty cool huh so you can change how often your loop runs by a couple things its starting point, 
its ending point or how much you increment that value by. Again, you can add 3 to it each time if you want, and then you'll get something like this. 1, add 3 to 4, 7, 10, 13, 16, 19, and when you added 3 to that, and it was 22, well, 22 is indeed not less than or equal to 20, so that's when it stopped the loop. So that is the basics of a while loop. Again, all a while loop does is take a certain bit of code and runs it over and over and over again until the test is false. And again, like I said at the very beginning of this tutorial, there are many different loops that allow you to take a bit of code and run it over and over and over again. A while loop is pretty much just the most basic kind. So make sure whenever building your while loops, not to forget to change that value or your loop's going to run forever. And who wants that? So for now, thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm actually going to go make some bacon right now. So you guys sit tight, rewatch this tutorial, and once you're good, once you understand the syntax of how a while loop works, you're ready to move on to my next video. So again, thank you. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.